Squish, squish, tell me where you at your motivation, guys. Back, I'm pumped up because it's another day. It's another day for you to get better. It's another day to go after your dreams. So I just want you to have confidence, you know, just have faith that everything is going to work out. You can do it, all right? Listen, it is your boy, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. Although the competitive mode, you know, for the remainder of 2022 is duos, we understand that a lot of you guys out there are on your grind as a solo. And don't worry, there is absolutely nothing wrong with that. You know, majority of the pros you're going to see on top today had their big break all alone. So today, we're going to be coming at you with a complete guide for solo players looking to make it to that next level. And if you're a regular to this channel, you already know what's about to happen. It's time to sit back, relax, and get some of my favorite candy. What is that, y'all? Come on. It's that bunch of crunch. Yo, let's get this going. All right, so to start off today's video, we're going to be talking about mentality. Yeah, that's right, mentality. I mean, it's one of the most important yet overlooked aspects of becoming a professional Fortnite player, especially when you're on the come up alone. Guys, Fortnite is a stressful game. I mean, there's a ton of room for error and even the smallest mistakes can really oftentimes lead to the biggest consequences. And if you're not mentally prepared for some setbacks and adversity, your journey of becoming a pro is going to be put to an end before you even realize it. So the first thing that you need to understand, guys, is that nothing is going to be handed to you. A lot of players out there think that the reason they have an advance is because they're unlucky. Uh, yes, luck does play a minor role in this, but it's not the determining factor by any means. You know, the pro players that you see at the top of the competitive leaderboards season after season are there because they're able to use both their luck and mistakes to their advantage. The number one method of improving in Fortnite, and really anything for that matter, is really learning from your mistakes and just coming back stronger than before and you can do it. Instead of blaming the game or other outside factors, you need to start taking accountability for your actions and use it to better yourself as a player. You're missing your shots? Add some more aim training into your routine. Someone landed on a weapon before you? Create a drop map and just master your glider deploy. You died in the arena? Okay, so hit the vise and just see how you can improve. The sooner that you make the mindset switch and decide to start learning from your mistakes, the sooner you're going to start improving. I promise you that. All right, on top of learning from your mistakes, you need to stop tilting so much. Guys, I get it. Sometimes some stuff is going to happen. You're going to want to just smash your keyboard into oblivion. I've done it. Trust me. But acting out like this, <laughs> It's just going to add to unnecessary stress and frustration onto yourself, just causing you to play worse. I mean, at the end of the day, you need to realize that you're playing Fortnite to have fun. So keep an optimistic mindset and start laughing at the things that would normally cause you to rage. It works. I mean, it may seem harder than it sounds, but you're going to notice how much better you're going to feel after playing when you do this. All right, guys, now that we've gotten the mental aspect out of the way, we can start going over what makes a proper training routine. Here we go. This is going to be the routine you follow each and every day that you hop on the game. For starters, you need to make sure that you're getting a proper warm up. Quite a few players out there, especially ones with limited, you know, amount of time on their hands, are going to hop right into arena and scrims without getting loose first. Doing this will heavily impact your performance and it isn't worth the additional playing time you're getting. All right, so start off by hopping into a blank creative island where you could just crank freely. Use this time to free build. Practice any moves that you're working on and overall just get your blood flowing, all right? As you free build, try to add as many edits as possible into the mix. This is going to increase your editing speed over time and it's going to prepare you for those high intensity situations where you need to be hitting a million buttons at once. Once you start to feel comfortable, head into this max headshot only shotgun map by Panville. This map is extremely popular amongst the pros as it trains you to focus on headshots and staying accurate. Okay, so after a few rounds of fragging out, we recommend starting the fight portion of your warm up with some 1v1 build fights. All right, so so these are going to help you enter the fighting state of mind and they're a great way to really get some stress-free engagements where you can focus on your mechanics and aim without having to worry about much decision making. This is the perfect time to really try out some new moves and just experiment with your play style. You know, playing with a friend of a similar skill level is great, but fighting random players with a variety of play styles is a solid way to really keep your mind open for adaption. I mean, you can instantly just queue with someone in Pango's 1v1 build fight map and just switch up opponents whenever you want. And after wrapping up your build fight, edit to this 32 player zone war field. This map uses the competitive loop pool and has a realistic storm system. It's in place that's gonna make you feel like you're playing in a real end game. After playing a few rounds of these, I mean, you should definitely be more than warmed up. If not, head back into whichever mode that you desire and just make it happen. All right, Bunch of Crunch Army, it's time for the question of the day. And I wanna let you know, you are a part of the Bunch of Crunch Army. Man, if you come here for motivation and you come here for the best tips and tricks that YouTube can offer at Pro Guys Only. All right, so let me ask you this, man. What would you say is your favorite mode to play in creative? Zone Wars? Box fights, realistics, let us know down in the comments below. 
Okay, so although it may not be the most optimal way to gain points, playing tons of solo arena is what's really going to advance your skills as a fighter. See, you know, when you're playing as a solo, you need to play extremely calculated in order to avoid being sent back to the lobby. There are no second chances, and you have nobody else to rely on for clutching up your fights. Having no teammates also means that you're able to focus up on a singular opponent without having to worry about helping your teammates or just being jumped on by another player. You're oftentimes going to run into higher skill opponents in solos as the more casual players are going to be hanging out in the duos and trios. So you can use these fights against advanced opponents to really adapt your play style and just learn from your mistakes. So if you're confused as to what went wrong in your fights, you can just hop into the VOD review to just analyze what went down and how you can just handle that situation differently when it happens again. Once you master the art of fighting in solos, fighting in team mode is going to be a whole lot easier. One of the best ways to really find better teammates is by being a solid fighter that can just hold their own weight. So get to grind it. Okay, so another great way to improve your skills as a fighter is by playing as a solo in team mode. Start with solo duels and inch your way up to solo trios and squads once you get comfortable. Unfortunately, you can't really solo queue into arena team mode, so you're gonna have to settle for the casual playlist. This can be pretty annoying as the loot pool is slightly different and less skill-based, but that high intensity experience you're going to be getting is definitely still worth it, all right? Let me ask you this, man. Are you guys tired of not making progress or maybe you just want to team up with a top player? Make sure to head over to ProGuides.com and we've got an army of pro coaches ready and waiting to teach you everything that you need to know about Fortnite so you can improve fast. Like I mentioned before, the core game mode for the remainder of 2022 is going to be duos. However, this does not mean that solo cash cups are going anywhere, right? Learning how to play solo cash cups is honestly like one of the best ways to dip your toes into the comp scene and just, you know, just get a feel for what the major events down the road is going to feel like. You're going to be able to develop decision-making skills for engaging and disengaging fights, map positioning, and in-game rotations. Not to mention that some successful cash cup placements are going to add some PR or even some earnings to your resume that you can use to find better teammates later on. Many of the top pros that you know today gain recognition from their solo placements, which as a result gave them opportunity to team up with some of the big guys. All right, so to help you guys out on your cash cup journey, we've got a few tips to really get you guys on the right track. First off, make sure you have a specific drop spot and loot route that you can really stick to for the entire tournament. This is gonna avoid any unnecessary RNG and it's gonna increase the chances of you leaving the early game with a solid loadout. In the mid game, do your best to stick towards the dead side. This is gonna help you avoid getting lobby focused on and it's gonna aid you in the rotation once the next zone starts to pull. Once you're in the end game, make a plan, analyze your surroundings, and just start thinking about what you're gonna do once the next zone pulls. All right, this may sound silly, but playing some additional creative at the end of your session is going to increase your mechanical ability drastically. Focus on the areas in which you're struggling and just work on fixing them. Your peace control is lacking? Okay, hop into a peace control map. You're struggling to get height? Play some build fights and zone wars. This is the time to have some fun yet still improve. Those players that get off early and just miss out on additional time and creative are just going to fall behind. It all comes down to how much you really, really want it and the time that you're willing to put into it, man. If you want it, go get it. But you guys tell me where you at, your motivation guy is back. Your friend, the one only Keith Allen, connected with my Instagram at your motivation guy. I believe in you, I really, really do. If I didn't, I wouldn't say it. Keep grinding, hope you guys enjoyed the video, like it, subscribe to the channel, and uh, just stay up to date with all the latest, greatest tips that we got a chance to offer, all right? Also, feel free to leave a comment and let us know if there's anything you would be interested in learning more about. Remember guys, Fortnite is a game where anybody can make it as a pro, so get on your grind as a solo and just make it happen. Like I said before, go get it. I'll see you in the next one, peace.